What's going on, guys? Thank you for coming back to Cobra TV. And today we're going to be talking about Planet Nomads, but not just uh, just uh, any old topic, but early access. Early access is getting ready to start. And Daniel from Craneball Studios has come on the show. We recorded a, an interview together, and he's announced what the release date is going to be for the early access. And next week, we're going to be uploading that maybe uh, sometime sooner. Um, but he's going to announce the release date on Cobra TV. And I'm excited to share that with you guys. Uh, but today we're going to go over and talk a little bit about the uh, the early access and the interview that we're uploading next week. He actually talked really in depth about the early access, the survival aspects of the game and the creative mode and some of the changes that they're, they've made. Uh, and then he's going to be coming back onto the show sometime uh, uh, in a couple weeks and just going to have a uh, you know an interview with him, get to know Daniel, get to know some of the other guys there at Craneball Studios, uh, Tomas, I believe. And for those that are interested, uh, Revenge of the Survivor is going to resume this coming Sunday. We're also going to be adding a uh, gameplay of Ark Survival Evolved to the channel. Uh, stay tuned for some uh, some more videos on Scum the Game, more identity coverage, and it's so, so much more. Definitely getting closer to early access. I cannot wait for this, and I can't wait to get into some of this news here uh, pertaining to the early access. Now, if you guys don't know what uh, Planet Nomads is, we've uh, interviewed the developers a bunch of times on the channel here. If you go through the videos, you can find them. Uh, discussed a lot of features about their game, their in the future about the game. Uh, Planet Nomads is similar to Imperian Galactic Survival. Uh, very, very similar to that. Um, but it has an artistic style, a little bit more realistic, but colorful like No Man's Sky. And it's a survival game. Uh, you're stranded on a planet and the idea is to survive and in that it's not just surviving like you do in no man's sky it is surviving you need to keep up with your oxygen levels find a way to uh, continue to have oxygen uh eat uh drink um survive the uh alien wildlife that's on the planet uh there is uh, a bit of procedural element to the game but it's not entirely procedural there is a lot of hand crafted artwork and assets to the game uh, the game does revolve heavily around real physics, a real physics engine. And uh, trust me, if you see one of the videos I've uploaded, the physics are pretty real, almost uh, painfully real for somebody like me uh, getting in there for the very first time. But this is a true gem of an indie game, and I cannot wait for this early access. So let's go ahead and get into some of this information. But they have quite a bit of information here. The uh, early access is going to be packed with creative and survival modes. So let's go ahead and get into the meat and bones with the survival mode here. It says the bread and butter of Planet Nomads. So if you read through these features carefully, you'll be able to visualize the everyday struggles of the nomadic life. The defining feature of survival gameplay is death. Players can die, and if you do, you respawn either at one of your cryo beds or in the escape module. And the reason why they're making a big deal about the dying is because, you know, the, the, the alpha that we've all been playing, you can't die in it. Uh, it's pretty much just a, a basic, really super, super basic uh, creative mode. And uh, it, it's fun in its own right. Uh, but And then it says, to avoid death, you'll want to keep a healthy lifestyle. Uh, eat good food, veggies, uh, drink pure water, sleep enough, and avoid poison uh, poisons. Avoid poisons so you can eat things that are not uh, too uh, suitable for you to have in your tummy there. Injuries and radioactivity. Your body will reward you with more energy throughout your work day. Uh, let you endure more, run faster, and so on. Conversely, if you punish your body with cold or heat or radiation, you will suffer movement penalties, vision impairment, uh, deteriorating health, and eventually complete shutdown of body functions. Sounds really interesting. It goes on to say you won't be alone on the newly crashed discovered planet. Various creatures will be there to make you company, and while some will be a good source of protein for you, others will want to suck the protein from, the marrow, from your marrow bones. Uh, it will be up to you to discover which animals to hunt and which ones to avoid. When you decide to build things, you will be placing skeletons and welding them to their final stage. Building in survival mode will require materials that you need to find, mine, and refine in 3D printers. Those 3D printers and all other function, functional blocks like wheels, doors, lights need to be powered by generators, which in turn need fuel to generate electricity. You will use a newly developed multi-tool to mine, weld, and cut things through. It goes on to say in creative mode, the main goal 
of the creative mode is to let you build with ease and try things out. Everything from the game design perspective is made with this goal in mind. Your Nomad character will be invincible. You will have unlimited energy for jetpack and the tool. Building is instantaneous as seen in the alpha version and doesn't require any materials. In fact, player inventory will not be part of the creative mode. Building blocks can be removed by right click. All building blocks are at your disposal, and while functional blocks require electricity from generators, the generators themselves don't need fuel to run, and, and, they, and they do run 24-7 forever. You may fast forward through the night and enjoy daylight all day long. Animals will not be part of the creative mode as we want you to discover them in their natural habitat, full of fear and anticipation. In creative mode, you may save and load at will. There it goes on to say, game development progress. Uh, some of the above will be taken from the alpha or already has been developed. We're going to rework tool handling. Animations as the tool and its handling is new. The player attributes and conditions are coded in. We have been working on animals, their visual evolution, anima uh, animations, and sound effects together with AI that will guide their movement and behavior nearly finished. We are working on the skeletons for the building blocks, one stages each. Half of the harvestable and edible fruits and vegetables are in. Uh, skipping the nights is work in progress at the moment. Inventories of the player printers, workbenches, generators, and containers are all in. Uh, new, more high-tech status GUI and, uh, and HUD is in the making. Sound effects are a huge category that is constantly expanding. The, two, the first two biomes, deep forest and jungle, are all done both visually and gameplay-wise. The density and dispersal of mineable ores and crystals are all set, as well as the spread of edible plants, bushes, and trees populating the animals coming in shortly. This is, and then they give a picture down below that says this is uh, how the new jungle looks today, early access uh, version. Wow, that is amazing. That is truly amazing. Uh, then they have a picture of the Badlands are next uh, for Peter to put in the necessary game design elements. And gee, truly amazing. And down below it says more news and biomes coming in the next episode of Nomadic Journals. Bits and pieces leaking on Twitter and add on uh, and added on uh, Trello too. We're going to go over and take a look at that. Definitely. Uh, then it says thanks for uh, staying. Or, then it says thanks for following the development and uh, stay cool nomads. So really cool developers, some of the best developers I've I've ever you know, worked with or have ever talked to or you know just uh, or witnessed making a video game. Uh, very close to their community, always talking, always uh, tweeting and uh, responding to people's questions and tweeting back. Um, great bunch of guys, very very talented, and I I, I can't wait to play the early access. The PC that we have been uh, playing our, our games on, we uh, did a Planet Nomads video, but it, it's kind of broke down right now, but it is in the process of getting fixed, hopefully in time so that we can play some of this early access in about a week or two. That is all we got for you today, guys. Comment down below what you think of Planet Nomads and your opinion of how it's starting to shape up. As always, I love you guys. Thank you so much for coming back to Cobra TV. You stay awesome, Cobros, and I will see you in the next video. Until next time. Shh.